Hello guys and welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and we got back into the swing of things here. Junpei's still mad at us, but it's okay. Uh, Elizabeth went ahead and started get, giving us more requests, so we're gonna go ahead and talk to her in just a sec. And also, we need to go ahead and study with Mitsuru and Sonata. Things are going pretty okay, other Good than day. Junpei being mad at us, so... Here are my requests. Wonderful. It seems you've completed a request. One moment, please, while I check. That red-leafed plant, is that a, the Christmas star? I was led to believe that there would be presents growing from this plant. Well, this fulfills my request, but you can take it back with you. Although once the presents are in bloom, I'd like for these plants to fill our room. Please take this as your reward. Jack's gloves. I remember these are for Sonata, I'm pretty sure. Very well. Let's see if we can equip it on them now and if they're any good. Pretty good attack increase, pretty low accuracy. Let's do it! I don't know if- I remember in the original Persona 3, uh, if you put on different gloves for Sonata, it would show in the overworld, so I'm really hoping that's the- that it happens the exact same way in Reload. Anyways, I'm going by the same logic I went by before, even though there is a social link that we could start- that we could continue here. I'm gonna wait a bit on that because I can start that social link at any time or continue it at least. But this study session is a once in a lifetime thing, so. Yo. Oh, Yuki. I came down to get a drink and got caught by Mitsuru, as you can see. <laughs> I'm not worried about Akihiko's grades, I'm more worried he'll run off and do something rec some reckless training. And studying has the added benefit of preventing that possibility. <sighs> so here we are, even though I'm mostly done studying for the exams. In that case. Then, why don't you overlook Yuki's studies? That is, if he is able to join us. Uh... Please do. I see. Alright, sit down. I'll be your study coach. I was hoping to go for another run after rehydrating. I believe you've done enough physical activity for one day. Any more and you'll hurt yourself. Fine. So... Were there any subjects you needed help with? Uh, I don't know. Through answers like these that don't really matter, I typically like to go with my own self, like answers I would choose. I'm pretty good at uh, grasping formulas. I'm a pretty big math guy. Memorizing vocab, I don't really have any trouble with. And I'm not Japanese, so remembering kanji isn't really something I isn't something that I need to worry about. Uh, I guess I'll just choose this anyway. Uh, the most basic method is writing them over and over again. But I get that's a tough way to stay motivated. That's why I reward myself with workout reps based on the number of new kanji I've learned. The more you study, the stronger you'll get. Pretty motivating, huh? In any case, I advise having a good workout ready to treat yourself with after a study session. It all comes down to making it a regular habit. Just a little each day really adds up. I wasn't going to say anything, but... Akihiko, working out isn't normally a reward for most people. On top of that, what good does it do to preach about long-term habits mere days before the exam? Hmm, I guess you have a point. In that case, how would you recommend cramming for it? It's not my usual style, but... I would focus on memorizing material that is likely to be tested. If you give it your all, it shouldn't be too difficult. Easier than facing the enemy wholly unprepared, at least. Well, we can talk all night, but doing is where the magic happens. Here, let me give you some practice problems. The two of them continued giving me rigorous advice. You catch on quick. You immediately took what you learned and put it into practice. All you need now is some strength training and you'll be unstoppable. Once the exams are over, why don't we dive into Tartarus for a bit and get some workouts in? You never change. I'll need to continue keeping an eye on you to make sure you don't overdo it. <laughs> the more you study and the more you train, the better results you'll get. I look forward to seeing what you'll accomplish from here on. Let's call it here for today. 
I want to get some stretches in before heading to bed. Let's get on with today's lesson. <sighs> oh god, it doesn't even feel like it's been that long since you last appeared. I forget what the exact date was, but... Mm. Silence. Class is beginning. Uriel Rilue Illili... Euler Leiru. I completely butchered all of those. Just a quick preface. When I use the word magic, I mean it in a very general sense. Anyway, today's topic is the magic of medieval Europe. I'll be giving a crash course on the single most magical place in time in recorded history. So there are a lot of materials pertaining to western magic, from printed books to communal folklore. I'll cover all of it, including the changes European magic has seen since then. As I mentioned previously, European magic finds its origins in paganism. Starting with Christianity, though, it has been influenced by an influx of various cultures. Let's see, what are some well-known examples? There's Kabbalah, which is the esoteric study of mystic aspects of Jewish texts. There's also Gnosticism, a Christian sect founded by Simon Magus, the sorcerer. Greece's philosophy and natural sciences were the fruits of magical researchers, and the same was true of Islam's scientific advances which surpassed Europe's at the time. Now, as for the circumstances of magic in this age, it was an era where the rule of Christianity and the insight of the natural sciences collided. Magicians br bravely reached up for a connection with the gods. Say, are you still awake? You're not daydreaming, right? Eehehe. <laughs> what about a test to see if you are paying attention? You'll know what type of guardian angel you have depending on how you answer. Uriel, Rilue, Illy, Euler. Leiru. Okay, now who to call upon? I choose thee, Yuki. What is the esoteric study of Jewish texts called? That would be called Kabbalah. Cool. Very good. Thank your guardian angel, because they must be kind. The magicians of the age achieved great things, particularly the renowned grimoires. A grimoire is a collection of magical texts, usually as all-encompassing as possible, wherein I answered correctly. Everyone in class is looking at me with respect. <sighs> I don't think that's the longest one he's had, but didn't feel short either. Alright, we have to go ahead and talk w we have to go ahead and give that stuff to the cat, and then hang out with Suemitsu, it looks like. Really? We've really been Suemitsu focused lately. This cat looks very weak. It seems like it might be hungry. Maybe I should give it super cat food. Purring. This purring seems more energetic than it did last time. And we have to come back tomorrow. Not much else to add here, so let's talk with Suemitsu once again and go out for a bite to eat. Hey, Makoto kun, perfect timing. Do you want to get something to eat? I can hear my poor stomach crying in anguish. Wonderful, my gourmet friend. Let's see. Last time we ascended to Juicy Paradise, yes? No, just where to go next. I keep forgetting to read his text messages. Restaurant is filled with the familiar smell of fish. <laughs> that enough appetizers? Excuse me, sir. Two bowls of the usual today. And as always, make sure one of them is extra large. Coming right up. Our bowls were replaced with two new fresh ones. Once you taste this, my friend, there is no going back. Ton, ton, ton noodles! Yes! That's three, count them, three tons! This is the crown jewel of the secret menu here. Even better than the Hagakure bowl! The simple salt-based broth complemented by the rich, spicy miso sauce. It's like a microcosm of the miracle of creation! Wow, the incredible flavor melts away my troubles. It's all about that secret menu. Although, how will people find it if it's too secret? Eh, whatever. The harder I think about it, the hungrier I'm gonna get. Oh, sir! Don't toss out that first bowl, all right? That soup and I have unfinished business. This is a huge honor for you, you know? You're only the second person to taste this after me. Don't forget to blow on the noodles to cool them off. I can feel- I can really feel Suemitsu's kindness. I feel like our relationship is stronger.
What a lucky guy you are. I mean, you get to be friends with me. And just so you know, you wouldn't be getting this with my younger brother. Because the Gourmet King's brother is not the Gourmet King. So, do you get me, hmm? Who am I? Go on, I want to hear it come out of your mouth. The best option to say is the Gourmet King. My word, not so loud! Are you trying to embarrass me? Here, have some of my boiled egg. I had a couple of bites, but it's still good. No more talking! The food's gonna be a chewy, flavorless mess if we don't eat up! Sir? Sir? You save that first bowl, right? Cause I'm gonna be needing it. So we meet and I finished our ramen, and I went back to the dorm. Alright, if nothing's happening this evening, then I'm gonna go ahead and use the computer again. Oh, welcome back. Feel you're free tonight with exams. Oh, another study session. Pass, I'm heading to my room. Huh? Wait, Junpei! Oh well, his loss. Yumi and Fuka can still study together. Yeah, I'm up for that. That's true. You're really making a name for yourself as our leader, especially with the latest operation. Excellent commanding there. Next time, the enemies will probably get stronger again. But if you keep up the effort, I know you'll do fine. Yes, precisely. It's fine to reflect on your victory, but don't forget that the exams are next week as well. I promise I won't forget. You've been reminding me every single day. in his room, but he's not responding. Okay, so he's mad at us, so I still won't be able to test out that uh, thing that I wanted to test out. I don't know why I walked all the way around the table. You can't talk to them from here, so... It's almost time for exams. Have you been studying? We were just about to start studying together. Do you want to join us, Yuki-kun? It's okay with you, right, Fuka? Uh -huh. Of course. Will you study with us? Let's study together. Yeah. Great, let's get started. Fuka, your notes look so trendy. I kind of wasn't expecting that. Oh no, these are Natsuki-chan's notes. She let me borrow them since I was out trapped in Tartarus. Uh, what a good friend. Mm -hmm. She sure is. That said, there's actually quite a bit missing from these notes. Oh, you're right. This part just has the equation and no answer. And this page is full of doodles. And this part... Uh... Is that a drool stain? Hey, it may not be the best study material, but it's the thought that counts, right? Mm-hmm. I've been trying to think of a way to return the favor. Fill in the blanks. Huh? Oh! Are you saying I should fill in any part she missed in her notes before giving them back? That sounds like a great idea! But it's going to be a lot of material. I wonder if I can finish it all. Then we'll help you out. It'll be a good review for us, too. <sighs> Thanks, you two. Here, let me see those notes. Oh... Yeah! We began to fill in Natsuki's notes. He nearly rewrote every th the entire thing. It really did make it for a good review. All done! It looks wonderful! <laughs> Natsuki-chan's in for a real surprise when she sees this. I hope she likes it. I'm sure she will. I couldn't have done it without your help. Thanks, you two. Well, it certainly helped us study too, right? I'll make sure to give Natsuki-chan the notes back tomorrow. Good night. Hey. Uh, so... Exams are coming up pretty soon. Have you been studying? Yep. Oh, yeah? Well, not that it's any of my business. Here we go. Finally, we've reached Ty Taira no Masakado. He's the turning point of the era of the samurai. It all began with infighting among the Taira clan. Their conflict escalated until the Imperial Court had to intervene. Masak Masakado was pursued by the Imperial Court, so he had no choice but to openly oppose them. 
the result was known as the War of Masakado. Yuki, you may not like the samurai, but let's see if you know this one anyway. There's a theory that Taira no Masakado thought, the pro thought of the prototype for an item essential to battle. Now, what do you think the item was? It's something every samurai needs. You could probably guess already, but just to confirm, the katana. Yes, exactly. Knew that one already, huh? Yep, it's the katana. Think of the samurai and their swords, and the first thing that will come to mind, although it's not known whether Masakado really came up with them. I read that sentence wrong, but it's fine. Th this is going to be on the exam next week, so prepare well. Let's skip forward to a little let's skip forward a little to the Kamakura era. Ah, at last, I could feel them on their way. The samurai are almost here. In 1185, the Kamakura Shogunate was established. Yes, we're there! And of course, its founder was Minamoto no Yoritomo. I can't believe we finally made it! I answered correctly. Everyone in the class is looking at me with respect. Gee, after three months of teaching, maybe this time he'll actually, you know, put some effort into it. <laughs> It's a message from Sonata. Letting you know first, Ikutsuki-san is coming tonight. Sounds like he has something to tell us. We'll meet on the fourth floor once we're all back. Okay, as always... Oh, we can rank up Maiko. Hmm... How high up is Maiko? Three, and I think Suemitsu is almost also at three. Yeah. So, we did a lot of stuff with Suemitsu I think it's about time to switch back over to Maiko, especially since we haven't actually talked to her in quite a while. We will need to fuse a hanged... Oh no, we actually have a hanged persona at the moment, so... Yeah. Let's get a move on. First, of course, we have to go ahead and give some food to that cat. Praying loudly, the light in its eyes has returned. And we have to come back one more time tomorrow. Are you busy? I can play today. Come to the shrine. Hi! Do you think Stripey is okay? He said he's only here on Sundays, but I can't come that day. I wish we could play again, but I'll be okay today since you're here. Yay, then! So, you know how it was my birthday the other day? Well, guess what? Mom and Dad both remembered! They really do care about me! The best option to say here is, that's great news. I got so many presents. I even got a birthday cake. It's been so long since we ate together as a family. We used to do it all the time. How come mom and dad don't get along anymore? I know. I'll just ask them why. If I know why, I can fix it and make it all better. I'm gonna make mom and dad happy again. Wish me luck, okay? Maiko seems fond of me. I feel like we're growing closer. saying goodbye to Maiko, I headed back to the dorm. And that's the summary of what happened on the night of the 7th. These shadows seem to be quite a bit more formidable than the ordinary ones. I see. So our enemies are growing stronger as well. Well, it's not all bad news. In fact, I called today's meeting because... Hold on. Before we go on, I'd like to ask Kirijo senpai something. Oh? I know I'm not the only one thinking this. So much has been happening lately. I feel like I've just been getting dragged along without really understanding anything. But now, I want answers. So I'm gonna ask you straight out. You've been hiding something from us, haven't you, senpai? You're always acting like you don't know anything about the Dark Hour or Tartarus. But they're connected to that accident ten years ago, aren't they? What accident? Y yukari chan There was an explosion near our school and a lot of people died. It must have been big news back then. You know about it, don't you? Yes. Luckily, no students were injured. But something is off here. At the time of the incident, there were several unexplained absences. 
seems like more than just a coincidence to me. What do you mean? Well, I dug up some old school records and found something interesting. Those students weren't just absent. They all suddenly collapsed and had to be sent to the hospital. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Remember those girls who bullied Fuka? They had to be hospitalized too. <laughs> I want an explanation. What really happened on the day of that accident? The Kirijo group built our school, so you have to know something. Tell me the truth. I wasn't trying to hide anything from you. It just never seemed relevant. But... It's okay. It's not your fault. All right. I'll tell you everything. Shadows have many mysterious abilities. Some research indicates they can even affect time and space. We think of them as our enemies, but what if we could somehow use them to our advantage? They could be a source of unimaginable power, couldn't they? What? Fourteen years ago, one man pursued that very line of thinking. He was the former leader of the Kirijo group, Koetsu Kirijo, my grandfather. My grandfather was obsessed with the shadows. He wanted to harness their power to create something extraordinary. Create something extraordinary? To that end, he assembled a research team and had them amass a number of shadows. He was collecting them? Damn, that's freaking crazy. But 10 years ago, during the final stages of the project, there was an accident, and the experiment failed. They lost control of the Shadow's power, altering the nature of the entire world. You can't mean- Yes, Tartarus and the Dark Hour. According to the records, the accumulated mass of shadows split into several large ones that later dispersed. These are the shadows we've been encountering on nights when the moon is full. Maybe that's why it's difficult to predict where they'll appear. Wait a minute. If what you said is true, then why did our school turn into Tartarus? Don't tell me. Is it because that's where they conducted the experiment? Yes. Then those students who were hospitalized... It's just as you fear. It was a highly populated area, and the Kirijo group had influence there. They could essentially do as they pleased. Port Island must have been the perfect location for them. So yes, as you guessed, the experiment ten years ago was conducted at Gekokan High School. Just what are you trying to say here? So that's the whole purpose behind Seas? We were dragged into all this just to clean up their mess? You lied to us? <laughs> and you knew too, didn't you, Sonata Senpai? You've both just been using us! Or do you not care as long as you're the one who gets to do the fighting? I never said anything like that. I have my reasons. Think what you'd like, but it was my decision not to share the information. I'm sorry. It was never my intent to deceive you. Convincing you to join Seas was my highest priority. I know it may not be fair, but Shadows can only be defeated by Persona users. We are the only ones who can fight. That's hardly the point! I never had a choice either. It didn't matter if I wanted this power or not. I... Mitsuru, that's enough. Takebaku, it's only those in the past who are to blame. And they lost their lives as a result of what they did. We're all in the same boat here. None of us deserve the burden that's been thrust upon us. But that's... <sighs> it's been ten years since the incident in question. No one knows why those shadows suddenly returned. 
But now that they're here, we have the chance to find and destroy them. Do you realize what that means? What if I told you that the Twelve Shadows are the cause of everything? You're saying if we defeat them all, Tartarus and the Dark Hour will disappear? Exactly! That's what I was going to tell you earlier. See? It's good news, isn't it? Can that really be true? There's evidence to support it. And this is where our true battle begins. Our true battle. Regardless of what's happened in the past, we must fight to protect the people. The shadows are gaining strength. We can't afford to wait for them to strike first. Right. And there are still many mysteries surrounding Tartarus. For instance, why did such a gigantic structure appear in the first place? The answers must be out there somewhere. Hmm. We must defeat the Twelve Shadows that started all of this, in order to eradicate both the Dark Hour and Tartarus. I must fight to protect everyone. Six of them remain. Huh, so we got a bit more insight into why the Dark Hour exists and why we're fighting. It's very interesting seeing how much everything kind of ties into Mitsuru, because she's honestly kind of one of the most important characters in this entire game, and it's all because she does tie into all of that stuff that happened with the Kurijo group. Anyways, getting on to a lighter topic, today is July 11th, which is the birthday of Masao Inaba, aka Mark, from Persona 1. He should appear on the TV screen right now, he'd be 30 in 2009. Yep, Trish from Who's Who. Today's subject is a man in his 20s. Man in his 20s? He's 30. Persona 1 took place in 1996, and the characters were all 17, which means that he was born in 1979. 30 years later is 2009, and today is his birthday, meaning he is 30. Studying art overseas, so we were very fortunate to run into him today. Anyways, now that we've learned more about the Dark Hour, I think this is a good place to go ahead and end off the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and continue doing some more of Elizabeth's quest, because we are finally going to go ahead and use the shared computer, and maybe Junpei will stop being mad at us next episode. Don't count on it, though. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!